Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do the Try a Chapter Tag on haul edition basically. I've done a few of these in the past. So recently I've been sorting out my To Be Read pile. It's a lot smaller than it has been in many many years is my pile. And I found a few books which I'm kind of debating do I want to read them or just get rid of them because I'm not interested anymore. And in general I think trying a chapter doesn't really tell you a lot about the book but if you're already on the verge of not keeping the book it might just nudge you in either direction just having a taste of the writing style. I've got four books that I'm kind of Am I still interested enough to read or do I just want to add them to the donate pile? So I'm going to have a quick look at what they're about, read the first chapter and decide, well, do I keep them or do they go? The first book is Eon by Greg Bear and in this one a big thing appears in space and it's all mysterious and I do like a good giant mysterious alien artefact. So the first chapter in this one is 20 pages, it's a prologue. Oh, all of these are second hand. The next one is The Child Garden by Jeff Ryman. This one is a future tropical London where children are taught with viruses. The first chapter is 18 pages long. Next is The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle by Stuart Turton. This was all over booktube a lot when this came out and then it's just kind of gone silent so the best I can gather is someone keeps moving around bodies and has to solve a murder. Uh, the first chapter is five pages, so um, the first couple of chapters is 15 pages. And finally there is Anti-Ice by Stephen Baxter. Honestly I bought this one just because it's Stephen Baxter and he is a very very hit or miss author with me. This one seems to be a kind of... Um, futuristic Victorian technology and they discover anti-ice from what I can gather is nuclear weapons, I don't know. Uh, the first chapter is, it starts with a 30 page letter, so we shall see. So um, I would say I'm going to go off and read them, but I did all the work on this last night so that I could just sit and record through. So, so let's pretend I've just gone to read them and I'll go through my thoughts. I made quite a few notes as I was going through them last night. Let's start again with Eon. So I said there was some interesting set I've got notes on the back of each book. So um, it's some interesting setup as we obviously get to know our main characters through the rest of the book to see where they are when their lives begin to be involved with this giant strange thing that has come orbiting the earth. I am moderately interested, not enough to go oh I must read that now, but enough to go I put it back on the pile and I will probably get to it at some point. So next again is The Child Garden by Jeff Ryman and um, in, in that 18 pages I was definitely intrigued about what was going on here because we are following someone who is resistant to these viruses that teach people things and it's already creepy because it's like three-year-olds who have an adult brain so I'm definitely intrigued. This is actually going to be part of next year's reading challenge because I'm moving on to the books I purchased in 2017 as my definite TBR through the year and this is one of those books so I will be keeping this to add to that one and I'm definitely interested in this world. Then The Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. This is one I bought second hand simply because of the hype. I think I got it from the British Heart Foundation so it wasn't a lot of money. Don't have the sticker on it anymore. So I ended up reading the first 15 pages and honestly the mystery that's going on isn't enough to interest me. Um, I'm not actually that intrigued as to what's going on and what's going to happen. It's all very dramatic of course at the start because we meet someone who's lost his memory but the other two books I was like, yeah, I'm interested enough to continue. This one I'm like, no, I'm just going to get on with the next one on this challenge. So this one is going to go back to the charity shop. And finally, Anti-Ice by Stephen Baxter. As I said, very hit on this author with me. And this one looks like that it's not going to be one that I'm going to really love. The first 30 pages is a letter written by a Victorian gentleman in very formal language explaining what is going on. Um, it was very slow 
I was not that interested while I was reading it. I had to flick through just to see if uh, any more interesting passages caught my eye, what was going on. And honestly, this was probably just going to languish on my TBR forevermore. And then I don't think I'm going to get to this one. So this one also came from a charity shop. I paid a pound for it. So this one can go back to a charity shop. So ever so slightly reducing the TBR. Two of them are going to the charity shop. Two of them I'm keeping. One of them I'm definitely looking forward to reading. The other one will... I'll get to it eventually or I'll just add it to a charity bag at some point. So that is it for today. Thanks for watching and I shall see you all soon.